Hi folks, <laughs> hi folks, it's Shanuka again, and this time with a quick tip on easily and quickly animating flames in Grease Pencil. I am first opening a 2D project, and to start off, I'm just drawing a candle to be the source of my flame, adding a little wick and a couple highlights, and I've set the background to a dark color. In a separate Grease Pencil object, I'm drawing the flame. I'm adding the glow effect to it from the drop down list in the effects tab. Now this will show only in render view. And I can change the color and the intensity of the glow over here. I'm going to switch to sculpt mode. And in sculpt mode, I'm going to make several different versions of the flame shape on my timeline with a little bit of time in between them. Uh, I'm making sure that the last and the first frames are the same so that it can loop. Here's what it looks like when I play it back. Now Grease Pencil can automatically smoothen this out for me. So in edit mode, I am going to navigate to between two of the sculpted frames and select interpolate and select sequence. And it automatically fills in those frames for me. And now we have a smooth flicker. To make this animation keep looping, in the modifier tab, I'm adding the time offset modifier and I am setting it to loop frames 1 to 80. Now it'll keep going until the end of my timeline. To add a little bit more jitter and randomness to the flame, I'm adding a noise modifier, playing around with the options till it looks right. Adding a bit more noise scale adds a bit more variation to the shape. I'm also adding a point light in front of the grease pencil object. It helps it to look more incandescent. You can play around with the brightness and the color of your light to your preference. And as a final touch, I'm going to add the blur effect in the effects tab. And now I have a pretty good looking flame animation. And as a final fun tip, you can easily change the colors of your materials to get many different kinds of flames. Here's a Disney villain-esque color scheme on the same project. That's it for this one folks. Let us know if there's any other tasks you'd like a quick tutorial on. Don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe to our channel for more content. Also, maybe consider joining our brand new Patreon. We currently have two tiers, one that's for general support and another that gives you access to exclusive Patreon content. This will help us keep making these videos and we'd really appreciate your support. Check out our Discord if you'd like to hang out with us and other creatives. And take a peek at our social media for project updates. Thanks for watching and see you next video.